My name is Manish Kabe. We sit with the city when they're making decisions. We kind of help them if that's the right decisions for the programs they have in Thunder Bay. And I also work with the youth, the young people. What I see in them is when I look at them and the way they look at things is really more good ideas than the adults see what the city should be like. They see what's happening and they kind of want to fix it, but they can't because they're not, they're not an adult, they're not, they don't make decisions for the city. It's the old people that makes decisions in the city and I think we need to hear their voices. I was surprised when, when I was named as a community hero. I thought, well, the, the heroes are my young people. I have a lot of members, a lot of young people that deserve some of that award. I mean, rich, and I'm really proud and happy that, that they gave me something. It's the young people that deserve that award. Epic's investigation and security is proud to recognize Manin Chakabi on her outstanding leadership, dedication, and commitment to community safety and well-being. As demonstrated in her many years of advocacy and support for youth, and families in our community. Please join me in congratulating many on her award. My name is Cornelius Beaver. I am a student at Confederation College in the Onanjigewin Indigenous Services Program. I've been a part of many organizations like Roots to Harvest, the Regional Multicultural Youth Council, and Magnus Theater. Back in 10th grade, I started working with Magnus Theater in the Creative Collective Project, which is a program for high school students to come in and like write a play on a social issue that's affecting Thunder Bay, and to like perform it on stage in late spring. And I've done that for four consecutive years before I left high school. It was really impactful for igniting my passion for community involvement. After Magnus Cedar, I started participating in Roots to Harvest and the Regional Multicultural Youth Council, which is the RMIC, we call it. And it's been impactful because there's been a lot of initiatives surrounding Indigenous youth in our community. It's been exciting to like see the changes I've made in my life and like how it created changes in the community that I've seen. With Roots to Harvest, I've done a lot of work surrounding food and like food security. It inspires me to create changes not only in the Thunder Bay community, but also the communities up north because it's been a lot of years that I've been involved with the community and to finally like be recognized by the city is quite an honor. I want other youth to feel that, to feel that they have a sense of safety so that they can feel a sense of purpose and belonging in their community. I hope that other youth can feel safe around me so that they can fully express who they are as a person and to have hope for their futures and what they want to do. Generator is proud to recognize Cornelius Beaver for their leadership, creativity, compassion and commitment to supporting and empowering youth, cultivating safety and healing, and making Thunder Bay a safer place for everyone. Please join me in congratulating Cornelius on their award.
My name is Clarissa Fox Matthews. I'm the on-call coordinator with Northern Anishinaabe Education Council. So we provide on-call service to our students, which is Sandy Lake and Mishigo women. And we're also partnering up with Windigo. So we look after students under Windigo. Um, so basically, the on-call workers work after the prime workers are done at 5 p.m. And they tend to whatever they need to. Right now, I have, um, I have two teams on every night. So I have a team of female and male. So that's four people per day. Um, but in our on-call program, I believe there's 16 staff. On-call encounters so much, like when they're working through their shift, they do hotspot checks. So hotspot checks are the ones that are really um, popular. You know, like the McIntyre Bridge area, intercity area, um, city hall, marina park. So on-call during their shift, we'll do hotspot checks and drive around, make sure everybody's okay. When I was told that we won, I felt proud for my on-call team because I know um, they do an outstanding job. So I feel really proud that we got the Outstanding Community Project Award. Circle K is proud to recognize the Student Crisis Response Program for their outstanding leadership, dedication and commitment to promoting student safety, maintaining dignity and respect, providing harm reduction services, and increasing overall community safety and well-being in Thunder Bay. Please join me in congratulating the Student Crisis Response Program for their award. Bonjour, my name is Jess McLaughlin. I'm from Long Lake 58 First Nation, and I am the co-founder of the Indigenous Food Circle. Bonjour, Gakanao Ya, Shelby Indishnikas, Erlan Ndongji, and I'm Kiwa Kudananda, Mayang Indodam. Hello, my name is Shelby Gagnon. I'm from Erlan First Nation, and um, I'm co-coordinator at the Indigenous Food Circle. Hi there, my name is Bo Boucher McLaren. I'm from Fort William First Nation here, the land we're on, and I help run and manage the sugar bush collective that we're uh, in the maple trees right now. The Indigenous Food Circle was co founded in 2016 to um, uplift and um, bring forth uh, Indigenous food issues in Thunder Bay and area. The circle is made up of uh, many different projects, groups, communities, elders, and people that support the work that we do. The more sovereign we are in our food, the more secure we are going to be with food and, um, you know, bringing it to households, bringing it to community and also on an individual level. I think the work at The Circle contributes to community safety and well-being um, through uh, empowering Indigenous voice and giving um, self-determination to people and communities like Bo and Shelby and young people and elders in the community to reclaim um, those things that were taken from us through colonialism. And just the work that we do, focusing on uh, holistic well-being and looking at food as medicine, it's a focus on being healthy um, in the work that you know I try to bring to, to this group and um, and just just love too. For the collective here in the sugar bush, we collect the sap and we make maple syrup out of it, and uh, we give back to the community in, in lots of different ways. We don't ever sell it, so it's always just given away. Uh, so the work we do is, is really good that way. I feel like it's really important that we won the Outstanding Community Project Award uh, because the work that we do really brings community together. So just being acknowledged, I think, is is really beautiful, and and looking at the you know world with like reciprocity and gratitude. So just very thankful um, for this for this award, Miigwech. The Thunder Bay Police Services Board is proud to recognize the Indigenous Food Circle for their leadership, dedication, and commitment to addressing food insecurity and empowering Indigenous communities to achieve long-term food sovereignty and a sustainable food future. Please join me in congratulating the Indigenous Food Circle on their award.
Hello, my name is Don. I worked on the care bus, which provided a non-traditional, welcoming, safe space where we could network with other community members and do a little bit of outreach. Hi, my name is Selena. I worked alongside with Don on the care bus. We did some outreach work, like you said, with the vulnerable population, handing out some snacks and creating a safe space. We kind of went around town and there were certain stops where there's really a high volume of vulnerable people and they were welcome on the bus to come talk to us or if there was minor wounds sometimes we would help patch up. Um, if someone needed to get into detox, we could call detox, get them into detox. And I think it really created an amazing place for people that aren't necessarily safe on the street to come and have a safe, warm place to sit and talk and have someone there for them. Working with the vulnerable, they seem to realize that people care and that people are there for them. I think it showed them that people had respect for them, that they were just like everybody else and that they were just in a spot that lots of, anyone could end up in that. I could end up in that situation, you could end up in that situation, anyone could end up in that situation and it um, helped them realize that we're all there for them and we're not judging them and they have something to look forward to every day. I feel honoured that we're receiving the Outstanding Community Project Award and how it brings awareness that everybody's probably one paycheck away from being on the street and how, you know, we can provide something innovative and new and, and watch it grow. Matawa First Nations Management is proud to recognize the partners who established the CARE Bus for their outstanding innovation, dedication and commitment to supporting individuals who are homeless or precariously housed, providing access to transportation and a safe place to seek shelter, reducing barriers to harm reduction services and improving overall community safety and well-being. Please join me in congratulating the partners for the CARE Bus on this award. My name is Stephanie Rich. I'm the Youth Inquest Coordinator and the Matawa Safe Sobering Site Supervisor. The Matawa Safe Sobering Site is a safe place for intoxicated students who belong to the Matawa Tribal Council to come and sober up. I think you can see the impact uh, that we have on the community safety and student safety because oftentimes when students are um, you know, sobering up at home. It could be dangerous because they don't have anyone who's looking after them while we provide, you know, 24 seven monitoring while they're here. Also, you know, being um, First Nations students, oftentimes, you know, when they're in the police station or hospital system, they sometimes face discrimination and racism. So we have a staff that's majority, you know, First Nations um, people that look after them. Um, so we're very, you know, culturally appropriate um, because we are mostly a First Nations staff. It's an honor to receive the Outstanding Community Project Award, um, not just for myself, but, you know, on behalf of Matawa and our staff here. So we're helping our own, and I think that um, it's an honor to receive this award. Enbridge Gas Incorporated is proud to recognize the Matawa Safe Sobering Site for their vision and commitment to providing a safe, non-judgmental, and culturally appropriate space to support youth struggling with substance misuse and access to harm reduction and trauma-informed supports and services. Please join me in congratulating the Matawa Safe Sobering Site on their award. <laughs>